Key English test listening. There are five parts to the test. You will hear each piece twice. We will now stop for a moment. Please ask any questions now because you must not speak during the test. Now look at the instructions for part one. For each question, choose the correct answer. Look at question one. One. Where were the sunglasses the last time Mark saw them? Mark, have you seen my sunglasses? You had them on Saturday at the beach. They were in your backpack. I've looked. They aren't there. What about on your desk? You often put things there. Good idea. I'll look now. Oh, and look on the bookcase too. Maybe you put them there with your keys. Now listen again. Mark, have you seen my sunglasses? You had them on Saturday at the beach. They were in your backpack. I've looked. They aren't there. What about on your desk? You often put things there. Good idea. I'll look now. Oh, and look on the bookcase too. Maybe you put them there with your keys. Two. Where did the man see the ad for the concert? Hey, Sandy, are you going to the concert in the park this year? Oh, I haven't heard anything about a concert. That's strange. Tina usually puts ads about local events on the notice board. I'd love to go. Where can we get tickets? The ad in the newspaper this morning said we can get them online. Great! I can't wait. Now listen again. Hey, Sandy, are you going to the concert in the park this year? Oh, I haven't heard anything about a concert. That's strange. Tina usually puts ads about local events on the notice board. I'd love to go. Where can we get tickets? The ad in the newspaper this morning said we can get them online. Great! I can't wait. Three. Who is Simon? Thanks for coming to the party, David. It's nice to be here. Come and meet my brother Simon. He's over there. Is he the guy with the dark hair and the blue jacket? No, that's my cousin Max. My brother is the one with the dark hair and shirt, talking to the tall man with the glasses. I'll go and say hi. Now listen again. Thanks for coming to the party, David. It's nice to be here. Come and meet my brother Simon. He's over there. Is he the guy with the dark hair and the blue jacket? No, that's my cousin Max. My brother is the one with the dark hair and shirt, talking to the tall man with the glasses. I'll go and say hi. Four. What job does the woman want help with? Tanya, do you need any help? I can wash the dirty dishes for you. Don't worry, I've already put them in the dishwasher. How about if I cut up those vegetables next to the cooker? Ah, great! That would be a big help. Thank you. And the kids can put away the dishes when they come out of the dishwasher. Now listen again. Tanya, do you need any help? I can wash the dirty dishes for you. Don't worry, I've already put them in the dishwasher. How about if I cut up those vegetables next to the cooker? Ah, great! That would be a big help. Thank you. And the kids can put away the dishes when they come out of the dishwasher. Five. When might the next bus arrive? 
Excuse me, what time is the next bus? It usually comes at 25 past three, but the buses are running about 20 minutes late today. Really? So it will be here at quarter to four. I need to be at the dentist at four. Maybe you should take a taxi. I will. It takes about half an hour to get to the dentist by bus. Now listen again. Excuse me, what time is the next bus? It usually comes at 25 past three, but the buses are running about 20 minutes late today. Really? So it will be here at quarter to four. I need to be at the dentist at four. Maybe you should take a taxi. I will. It takes about half an hour to get to the dentist by bus. That is the end of part one. Now look at part two. For each question, write the correct answer in the gap. Write one word, or a number, or a date, or a time. Look at questions six to ten now. You have ten seconds. You will hear a tour guide talking about a boat tour in Venice. Welcome aboard! Before we begin our tour, let me tell you a few things about this beautiful city. Venice is built on a number of islands in the Adriatic Sea. No one knows the exact number, but we think there are 118. Between the islands, there are 150 canals. Today, we are going to travel along the Grand Canal, the city's busiest canal. It's also the longest, almost four kilometres long. You won't see any cars, of course, but there will be lots of different boats. We will pass under four bridges, but there are many more in the city. Venice has 391 bridges, and most of them are very beautiful. You should try and see some of them while you're here. Our boat trip today will take about 30 minutes. We will go past many of the city's famous churches, museums and palaces. We will even go past the fish market. Now, Please be seated, and we will begin our tour right here on the... Now listen again. Welcome aboard. Before we begin our tour, let me tell you a few things about this beautiful city. Venice is built on a number of islands in the Adriatic Sea. No one knows the exact number, but we think... There are 118. Between the islands, there are 150 canals. Today, we are going to travel along the Grand Canal, the city's busiest canal. It's also the longest, almost four kilometres long. You won't see any cars, of course, but there will be lots of different boats. We will pass under four bridges, but there are many more in the city. Venice has 391 bridges, and most of them are very beautiful. You should try and see some of them while you're here. Our boat trip today will take about 30 minutes. We will go past many of the city's famous churches museums and palaces. We will even go past the fish market. 
Now, please be seated, and we will begin our tour right here on the... That is the end of part two. Now look at part three. For each question, choose the correct answer. Look at questions 11 to 15 now. You have 20 seconds. You will hear Lisa talking to her friend Robin about finding a place to live. Where are you going to live while you're at university, Lisa? I'm not sure. It isn't easy, is it, Robin? A secretary I spoke to told me about some university flats, but I'd also like to look online and visit some other places. What does the university offer? There are 20 flats in an apartment building in the city centre. Four students share a flat. But I'm not sure about it. It's nine kilometres from the university. And what if I don't like the other students in the flat? Hmm. What else is there? Two buildings near the university. Howard House and Morgan House. Howard House is more expensive, but there's a canteen and the price includes meals. Morgan House is cheaper, but you only pay for your room. So there's no canteen in Morgan House? That's right. But on each floor, there's a kitchen and four bathrooms. Oh, and there are 25 students on each floor. Oh. So, which one do you think is better? Howard House or Morgan House? Well, they sound good, but I want to see them and meet the students who live there. Right, because what do you do if you don't like them? Hmm, that could be a problem. Now listen again. Where are you going to live while you're at university, Lisa? I'm not sure. It isn't easy, is it, Robin? A secretary I spoke to told me about some university flats, but I'd also like to look online and visit some other places. What does the university offer? There are 20 flats in an apartment building in the city centre. Four students share a flat. But I'm not sure about it. It's nine kilometres from the university, and what if I don't like the other students in the flat? Hmm. What else is there? Two buildings near the university. Howard House and Morgan House. Howard House is more expensive, but there's a canteen and the price includes meals. Morgan House is cheaper, but you only pay for your room. So there's no canteen in Morgan House? That's right. But on each floor, there's a kitchen and four bathrooms. Oh, and there are 25 students on each floor. Oh. So, which one do you think is better? Howard House or Morgan House? Well, they sound good, but I want to see them and meet the students who live there. Right, because what do you do if you don't like them? Hmm, that could be a problem. That is the end of part three. Now look at part four. For each question, choose the correct answer. 16. You will hear two friends talking about the weather. What is the weather going to be like tomorrow? Do you think it will be warmer tomorrow? I'm so tired of all this rain. Yes, I know. I can't wait until summer. It doesn't look sunny on the weather app, and the wind will be quite strong. And it's going to be rainy again at the weekend. 
Oh well, at least it won't be wet tomorrow. Now listen again. Do you think it will be warmer tomorrow? I'm so tired of all this rain. Yes, I know. I can't wait until summer. It doesn't look sunny on the weather app, and the wind will be quite strong. And it's going to be rainy again at the weekend. Oh well, at least it won't be wet tomorrow. Seventeen. You will hear a man talking to a friend on the phone. Why is he angry? You won't believe it. You know the suit I wore to the meeting last week. I took it to the dry cleaners, and they said they could clean it in an hour. So I went to a cafe to wait. When I returned, I paid and came home. But when I looked carefully at the suit, it was still dirty. I paid a lot of money for nothing. Now listen again. You won't believe it. You know the suit I wore to the meeting last week. I took it to the dry cleaners, and they said they could clean it in an hour. So I went to a cafe to wait. When I returned, I paid and came home. But when I looked carefully at the suit, it was still dirty. I paid a lot of money for nothing. Eighteen. You will hear a woman talking to her friend about work. Why is she unhappy? Do you have any holidays planned, Michelle? No, unfortunately, I have to work on Saturday and Sunday twice this month, and I'm not pleased about that. So, how many hours a week are you working now? About twenty hours. But I also work a couple of evenings in the week. Now listen again. Do you have any holidays planned, Michelle? No, unfortunately, I have to work on Saturday and Sunday twice this month, and I'm not pleased about that. So, how many hours a week are you working now? About twenty hours. But I also work a couple of evenings in the week. Nineteen. You will hear a man talking to his friend about where he lives. What does he say about it? Where do you live now, Chris? On the other side of town. I share a house with two other people. Do you like it there? Yes and no. I need thirty minutes to cycle here in the morning. The traffic is terrible. So why did you move far from work? The city centre was too noisy for me. Now listen again. Where do you live now, Chris? On the other side of town. I share a house with two other people. Do you like it there? Yes and no. I need thirty minutes to cycle here in the morning. The traffic is terrible. So why did you move far from work? The city centre was too noisy for me. Twenty. You will hear two friends talking about a sports centre. Which sport is the woman going to do? So. Are you going to become a member of the sports center? Yes, actually, I joined last week. I was quite good at football at school, and I'd love to play with the local team here. But maybe I'll try another ball game too. How about volleyball or tennis?、Mm, I've never tried them, but I'll think about it. Now listen again. So. Are you going to become a member of the sports center? Yes, actually, I joined last week. I was quite good at football at school, and I'd love to play with the local team here. But maybe I'll try another ball game too. How about volleyball or tennis?、Mm, I've never tried them, but I'll think about it.
That is the end of part 4. Now look at part 5. For each question, choose the correct answer. Look at questions 21 to 25 now. You have 15 seconds. You will hear Charlie talking to his friend Evie about visiting his family. What gift did he buy for each person? When are you going home, Charlie? Tomorrow. And I've bought everyone a gift. Look. Hmm. Who are these for? Oh, Granny. Her hands get cold in the winter. And these will keep them nice and warm. Is the scarf for her too? No, that's for Grandad. I also got him this. He needs a new one. He lost his wallet last month. Nice. What did you get your mom? Oh, I bought her these earrings and this bracelet. Oh, Charlie, they're beautiful. <laughs> They're a special gift because it's her birthday tomorrow. What about your dad? Oh, I got him this. Everyone else in my family listens to music on their phones, but not dad. He'll also enjoy listening to the news on it in the mornings. Mm. And your brother? Oh, he's football mad. I was going to get him a football shirt, but then I saw this. It's a history of his team, and there are some great photos in it. What about your sister? This. It's bigger than her school bag, and she can put all her books and lots of things in it. Oh, I love the colours. Now listen again. When are you going home, Charlie? Tomorrow, and I've bought everyone a gift. Look. Hmm. Who are these for? Oh, Granny. Her hands get cold in the winter, and these will keep them nice and warm. Is the scarf for her too? No, that's for Grandad. I also got him this. He needs a new one. He lost his wallet last month. Nice. What did you get your mom? Oh, I bought her these earrings. And this bracelet. Oh, Charlie, they're beautiful. Oh, they're a special gift because it's her birthday tomorrow. What about your dad? Oh, I got him this. Everyone else in my family listens to music on their phones, but not dad. He'll also enjoy listening to the news on it in the mornings. Mm. And your brother? Oh, he's football mad. I was going to get him a football shirt, but then I saw this. It's a history of his team, and there are some great photos in it. What about your sister? This. It's bigger than her school bag, and she can put all her books and lots of things in it. Oh, I love the colours. That is the end of part five. You now have six minutes to write your answers on the answer sheet. That is the end of the test.